Because now we study the syntax in uh, natural language and uh, the syntax word and the grammar they are very uh, similar words uh, but they have different applications grammar is the conventional grammar a uh, set of rules which drive any language uh, you can say grammar doesn't drive the language actually grammar is uh, derived from the language and uh, in short grammar is a set of rules and it also contains the information about the parts of speech and and many such things but syntax has a specific meaning specifically syntax means arrangement so in syntax we arrange the elements of any language like in programming language syntax is actually the arrangement of the keywords of the that language like in C or Java if you see in text this is the correct syntax but if you write it this way like X int now it is the incorrect arrangement so the syntax is wrong so to uh, validate the given statement we we pass the statement using the syntax tree and uh, context free grammar and if, if if the statement is correctly passed in that tree we say that statement is true otherwise it is it's false it is wrong similarly for natural language we can pass the natural sentence using the context free grammar that we may have developed for that language uh, like in natural language if you say this is a dog it is a correct sentence uh, you can pass it using CFG gram CFG context free grammar but if you write it like this dog uh, uh, dog this a is so no these are the same words but this time the arrangement is incorrect so the syntax is incorrect we cannot pass it using the CFG so to further elaborate the concept let us uh, pass a sample sentence using a context free grammar that we have written for English language so let's go to the Microsoft Paint here you, you see this is the CFG and the rules of production for English sentence and this is the English sentence let's pass this sentence using this CFG uh, this this production says that the sentence uh, let's choose a brush here let's choose the size this production says that S should produce a noun phrase and a verb phrase the noun phrase has this production rule noun phrase may be either a proper noun or it may be a pronoun or it may be an article followed by a common noun this adjective is optional so anything that is inside the princess is optional so we will hear this prepositional phrase is optional this adverb phrase is optional so next here so here noun phrase may be one of these uh, options so he is a pronoun so it lies here so we can say noun phrase here pronoun so I write here he so he was properly resolved here so reached next so s this is a verb phrase verb phrase has this production rule it goes to verb followed by again known phrase followed by optional prepositional phrase and followed by optional adverb so in this case we look for the verb in this sentence reached is a verb so we write it here so it is a verb and next we ex expect a noun phrase and noun phrase again here the rule of production it may be proper noun a pronoun a, a, an article followed by a common noun so Lahore is a proper noun so it is here proper noun that is Lahore 
and next is the optional part that is a prepositional phrase and the rule of production for prepositional phrase is preposition followed by a noun phrase so here we write preposition and it will be a noun phrase so now we are looking for a preposition uh, here by is a preposition so we write here so finally at last we are finding the noun phrase and you know noun phrase may be a proper noun or pronoun or article for a common noun in this case train is not a proper noun train is neither nor a pronoun train is a common noun so we are expecting an article before this common noun so it is not here so here the tree cannot be complete here so this sentence is not the right sentence it is incorrect we could not pass this sentence using the CFG so this is how we can parse any sentence of a natural language of course you know the natural languages are not uh, as as systematically developed as the programming languages so the CFGs do not apply 100% 100% correctly uh, on natural languages but they, they they do help us in almost 70 to 80% cases so that's it stay tuned for next lectures